Hello and welcome back to another Zero Linux video. This is gonna be a quick one. Simply no camera, no intro, no thrills. So straight to the point. The subject of today's video is, as, as I was working on the Zero Linux flagship edition, which is KDE, I uh, started thinking, what, what could I add to it that is special? I kept hunting for new plasmoids to extend the uh, the default look and feel. While doing that, I stumbled upon a plasmoid that is so amazing that may uh, that I always wanted without having to break my system. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a video animated video wallpaper. Like in the olden days, we had or we still have the wallpaper engine hack, as I call it. It's, it's not a plasmoid, it's a hack. Number one, we needed to purchase Wallpaper Engine on Steam for five bucks. And then once we got that installed, we had to run Steam and run uh, Wallpaper Engine through Steam to get uh, the video wallpapers. We could only get them via Wallpaper Engine itself. So we had to launch Steam, launch Wallpaper Engine, browser, browse for the wallpapers. And when we found wallpapers, if we tried to set the wallpapers that include widgets and what have you, it would crash plasma, plasma shell and all these uh, bad things would happen to our computers. So I wanted something simpler. So uh, uh, while I was hunting, I stumbled upon this. It's called Sm Plasma Smart Video Wallpaper Reborn. Why Reborn? Well, because this existed uh, in the Plasma 5 days, but it wasn't maintained anymore. So Luis forked it and called it Reborn and he updated it for Plasma 6. So this is their GitHub. The link will be in the description below. So there are many ways to install it, either from the KDE store, which I would have recommended, but for ease, I would recommend to install it via the AUR since it exists there. And the package is maintained by, this, by the developer of, the, uh, of this Plasmoid. So you go to the AUR and you will find it here. And small note for the maintainer, Luis, please give it a shorter name. If you're watching this, give it a shorter name. That's way too long. So the way you install it is via paru dash dash no confirm and you paste the package name here and it will install all dependencies, everything. So I'm not gonna install it because I installed it via the KDE store. I will minimize and I will show you how to set it. So you, you, you right click, select desktop and wallpaper you'll be this will open and you see where it says wallpaper type image you, you click it you, you select smart video wallpaper reborn and now it's time to add video before I uh, add a video I'll show you where you can add videos from you can download them from pixabay videos and you search looping you find something you like you download and that's how you set it add new videos Let's say I'm gonna add the matrix one. Hit apply. Oh, well, it's not the matrix one, but close enough. That's it. That's all I wanted to, to I wanted to show you. But before I go, I need there's a small note. This plasmoid works on any system, Nvidia, AMD, whatever. But for us AMD users, because of a current bug with Qt 6.9.x you will get green lines across the screen and the video is not going to render correctly. To, ad to address this, they have a section on their GitHub, again, linked below, on how to fix this. You scroll all the way down to this section. Switch the Qt Media backend to GStreamer because in the, the bug with the current Qt is the fact that if you use FFmpeg, it's gonna encode the video wrong, which is the default as they mention here. So all you have to do is create a file under your home directory .config plasma-workspace for uh, environment. And then you create a, an sh file, a bash file, and you call it qt-media-backend.sh. You make sure it's executable. You mark it as executable with either chmod plus x, this file or you right click properties, go to whatever tab and enable execution. And what you and you paste these two lines in there, you save, reboot, done deal. 
to make sure that the G streamer is G streamer is being used, you just type this command in terminal, and if it returns G streamer, then you're all good. If it doesn't, then yeah, you have to see where you went wrong. Unfortunately, QT needs to be updated. I think the fix is include will be included in uh, 6.10, the upcoming 6.10 version, as I've seen on on GitLab. And one last note, if you start adding videos, like if you add another video, let's say we add this one and we hit apply, you're gonna notice that it didn't change the, uh, the wallpaper. That's because it's adding it to playlist. It creates a playlist. I don't like that, but um, that's how it's intended to be. So you have to delete the first one, then hit apply and that's it. So thank you uh, for watching the video this far. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and uh, ring the bell to get notified of any new videos. And if you want to support me financially, which uh, I hope you do because you know our situation here in Lebanon, but if you can't, that's fine. Uh, and if you want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments below and how you like this uh, plasmoid. If you find something better, let me know in the comments as well. Also, if you don't like to do the comment section on YouTube, you can join me on my uh, on my Discord server. Also link uh, in the links below under socials. With that, I'll see you in the next one.